neighbors of the internet. It is I, Richard Gustafson, your host of Richard B. Ranting. And I want you to figure out what's different right now. Take a second, figure out what's different. And figure out what's different? I'll tell you what's different. I lost three pounds. Yes. Yes. Victory is mine. Operation not be fed anymore is continuing. Now, the thing about our topic today was while doing figuring out how to lose weight, I was goal to read books. So I thought, what the hell? I'll do a session about books. That's right, books. People still read them. They are just not only on the internet, but there's actually physical hand books where you just open those things up and oh, there you go. So the definition of books is this. A set of written, printed, illustrated, or blank sheets made of ink, paper, parchment, or other materials fastened together to hinge at one side. Now, I'm going to explain something to you because I know that all of you completely love definitions in your own special way. I will say this. The definitions are here to help you, not to hurt you. Embrace the help. All right. Thanks to the good people at go uh, goodreads.com. They have put together a list of three of the best, or excuse me, the best and the worst books of all time. They got a comprehensive list. I'm going to narrow down each of those to three. Three of them. That they're in the top three. And I'm going to start with the best books of all time. And the first book is The Little Prince. And i got to pull this out to see if I say his name right. It was written by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. Boy, I hope I got that right. Now, this is the story of a little kid on a planet, on his own planet. Well, he decides he's going to leave the home planet and explore the universe. This way, it's almost like a coming of age for space. And the graphics on it are really neat. And he decides and ends his journey on Earth. Now, the title of the book may be coming off of my nickname that a girl I used to date in high school gave me. The Little Prince. That's right. Yeah. See what it was? I was shorter than her. What were you guys thinking? Perverts freaking perverts. And I'm going to say this. You read this book, and I'm going to tell you what. You're going to be inspired, because this little kid leaves his comfort zone and explores, which not many people do these days. And they should. Because you never know what you'll see. You never know what you'll learn. And frankly, that's how you live life. I wish a lot more people did it. The second book that was chosen by Goodreads.com is The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. We know the story, but I'm going to say it anyways. Gandalf, a, a nice wizard, decides to enlist Frodo Baggins to go after a ring to destroy it. It's called the One Ring. This One Ring apparently is evil, and the Dark Lord has it. Now, the Dark Lord, or as the ladies call him, Sauron, has this ring and wants to use it for evil shenanigans in Middle-earth. And Frodo Baggins and a list of other hobbits and creatures go after it. And for it to be destroyed, it must be returned to Mordor. Which is basically the Dark, the dark Lord's bachelor pad. The one ring that is evil. I got a feeling that a lot of married couples feel like that about their ring. So, don't try to destroy it. Unless you can find a hobbit. Which, these days, you never know. Now, the final book that they chose, this was the number one book that they chose as the best of all time, A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. This one is classic. Man, I'm going to read off my notes to make sure I give it some justice. After 18 years of political imprisonment, Dr. Manette is released and reunited with his daughter, Lucy. During this time... Lucy is being courted by two gentlemen from different backgrounds. Charles Darney is an exiled French aristocrat, and Sidney Carter is a disreputable but brilliant English lawyer. It's a classic. I, 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 I can't make jokes about it or rants. This, this book is so good. It really is. So, here's what I'm going to do. After I get done with the show, I'm going to reread A Tale of Two Cities. But first, I'm going to have to learn how to read again. I don't think I did a good job on those notes. 
Are you ready for the fun? <laughs> Bet you are. The three worst books that I've seen on Goodreads.com. There's a common thread here. I want you guys to go ahead and figure it out. One of the books is Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. Bella is a teenager whose mom marries a minor league baseball player, and they go from Phoenix, Arizona to Fork, Washington, or Forks, Washington. Who the hell would name a city Forks? I bet it's like 20 miles south of Spoons. Anyways, Bella happens to be smitten by a guy named Edward, who happens to be a vampire. Now, the third, the second book is Twilight, New Moon by Stephanie Meyer. Now, in this one, Edward actually leaves Bella. Basically, he says, God, get the hell out of here. He leaves Bella, decides to go ahead and run off and do some other stuff. Vampire thingies. Thing is, is that she runs into Jacob, who happens to be a werewolf. Oh, God. And, of course, you can do two and two on that one. And the math. And the third book is Twilight Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. Now, this one has Bella and Edward getting married. This might be a shotgun wedding, because come to find out, she's pregnant. And... She may die during birth. And apparently some other groups that, of vampires or werewolves or witches or whatever, they go ahead and they want to go after this baby. I want you to think about what happened here. Three books written by Stephanie Meyer are in the top three of worst books by Goodreads.com. And if you obviously are familiar with the Twilight series, there's a fourth book. That means, and that one too is on the list, ironically at four. Stephanie Myers just made a dynasty of suckage just now for this website. That's what it's saying. And I'm going to say this right now. It is 2016. I don't see the taboo at all where a human can date a werewolf or a vampire or both even if they're into that stuff. I'm telling you, man, this is so crazy. And they, the thing about it is, is they made the movies out of Twilight. They were successful. All four of them made bank. I mean, we're talking mad money. So I'm going to say this. And I may have figured out a formula. If you want a very successful movie franchise, find a series of probably crappy written books designed for preteens and adults who are bored. Those are my rants, ladies and gentlemen. Books. We need to read them more. There's plenty out there, and I'll tell you one of my favorites. It's the, positive, it's the Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. I love that book. There's my favorite. Once again, comment down below what your favorite book is, if you've ever read a book. And I will go ahead and I will accept the Kama Sutra. That is my time. And I love your faces. And if you love me, you will like this video. And you will subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And if you have not shared this with friends and family and relatives and 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 the, the, the weird dude down the street, do it! Do it! They will be entertained by this. My name is Richard Gustafson. I bid you guys a wonderful adieu. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go grab my book, and i got to go to the bathroom. You guys take care.